Another record-breaking year for visitor arrivals. Kingston got its first cruise ship in years, and the interest of tourism workers advanced. This is the Ministry of Tourism Year in Review. With the increase in tourist arrivals, earnings from the sector also surpassed that of 2015, amounting to more than 2 billion US dollars. The tourism sector's successes in the past year were largely due to interventions by the ministry. The ministry penetrated new markets in Latin America and Eastern Europe and relaxed visa regimes between Jamaica and countries in those areas. A multi-destination marketing arrangement was also implemented with countries such as Cuba, Mexico and the Dominican Republic. Timeshare vacation schemes became a formal part of Jamaica's tourism product offering last year when the Timeshare Vacations Act came into effect on May 1. Market offerings was further diversified after the Jamaica Tourist Board signed a memorandum of understanding with home sharing company Airbnb. In Jamaica, the home sharing accommodation service has some 2,300 active hosts and 4,000 active listings scattered across the island and the marketing is growing. The Jamaica Tourist Board was also instrumental in the hosting of Jamaica House Rio, a promotional initiative held during the staging of the 2016 Summer Olympics. The hospitality hub assisted in the growth of Brand Jamaica in Brazil and Latin America. Cruise passenger arrivals for 2016 totaled more than 1 million, representing a 9.1% increase when compared to 2015. Harmony of the Seas, the world's largest cruise ship, made its inaugural call to the port of Falmouth. The port of Kingston welcomed its largest cruise ship and its first in three years, the MS Monarch. Also in December, for the first time, the island had mega ships at the main ports in Kingston, Falmouth, Montego Bay and Ocherius at the same time, a combined total of six cruise vessels. In an effort to maintain a cruise shipping sector, the National Cruise Council was established. During 2016, Cabinet approved the drafting of the Tourism Workers' Pension Act to facilitate the creation of the much-needed pension scheme. Minister Bartlett also announced that the Tourism Service Excellence Program, which recognizes and rewards outstanding workers in the sector, would be revamped and returned in 2017. And the ministry and its international partners spent 500,000 US dollars to train and certify 180 artisans under the Craft Enhancement Project. There were several major tourism investments last year. More than 3,000 rooms were added, including 225 at the Melia Braco Village Hotel in Trelawney, which opened in January. A contract was also signed for the largest single hotel development in Jamaican history. Under the Tourism Ministry's Shovel Ready Initiative, Charisma Hotels and Resorts will spend one billion US dollars to construct a mega hotel in Landover, St. Anne. In 2016, the Tourism Ministry continued development works to improve visitor experience in Ocherius and Falmouth, while 12 beach parks across the island are being renovated. The Jamaica Social Investment Fund launched a national community tourism portal, a web-based platform aimed at promoting licensed community-based tourism enterprises across the island. This portal is an excellent marketing tool which will help local community-based tourism, tourism enterprises to keep pace with the competition. The Tourism Linkages Network was expanded to include five new networks that will serve to further diversify the country's tourism offerings while building business opportunities for more Jamaicans. And we believe that the networks that we have established here embraces all the critical elements that drive visitor travel across the globe today. 100 district constables were trained under the Ministry's Destination Assurance Program to ensure the safety and security of visitors. 
There is now a memorandum of understanding for the Exim Bank to administer a revolving loan scheme and make disbursements to successful tourism applicants. The ministry also launched a special $20 million revolving loan facility for small tourism properties, attractions and businesses in Treasure Beach. Minister of Tourism Edmund Bartlett was given the distinctive award of World's Leading Personality for Outstanding Services to Travel at the 23rd Annual World Travel Awards Grand Final held in the Maldives. Destination Jamaica and local tourism partners copped eight other prestigious awards at the event. The Ministry of Tourism, building the sector while expanding new markets, and advancing the interest of tourism service men and women.